we need to calculate the CV of a control valve to do the selection of the control valve that fits to our process. And most often, what we do is get the design conditions, calculate the CV, and choose the valve where the operating point is in the middle range of the CV. For instance, let me show you a chart of a control valve. Here we have the Samsung valve size program and based on the process conditions that I add to the program and with the medium properties, the software calculated the CV required for this system. And based on the CV required for this system, the software goes to the data bank of the Samsung and look for a control valve that matches the specification. So you can see here that the CV calculated is 1.38 and the software gives to me CV2. And I am able to evaluate the curve of the system. So the opening of this control valve is close or very, very close to 90% for this system. And this is a, a globe valve. So if I am in the design conditions and I considering to have a globe valve at 90% of opening, I don't have a margin to control my system if for any reason I increase the flow in 10, 20 or eventually 30%. And when I am in doing plan design, I need to consider that kind of situation. That's why the paper says we must provide valve pressure drop at minimum, normal, and maximum flows to enable the selection of a proper valve for full operating range. Because based on the minimum, normal, and maximum flow, we will have different pressure drops to do the control of the process. Most often, what can happen when the engineer is selecting the control valve is based on the design condition they will select a control valve that will be operating in the middle range of the, the acceptable range. So instead of having the operating point at 90% of opening, I will consider selecting a control valve with a CV that gives to me something in the middle of the range, around 60%, for instance. So and what I can do here is increase the CV size of this vendor. So instead of considering uh, the purchase of a valve with CV2, I will consider a valve with C CV5. And I will do the calculations again. I will keep the CV, the other information not. And with that, I have a control valve now. You can see that it is half inches and if I go to the uh, graph I now my operating point is between 60 and 90 percent of the opening and the paper argues that to do the best selection of the control valve you should do the calculation of the CV based on the maximum flow and the minimum pressure drop and select this range of operation close to the limit of the acceptable uh, operating range. And based on that, uh, you will prevent the oversizing of a control valve. Because as you increase the size of the valve, of course, that it gets more expensive and you want to avoid that kind of situation.